Hey guys, welcome back to Better Bioin. Today, I'm gonna show you guys something that is probably gonna change your life if you don't know about these already. We're gonna talk about magnetic USB cables and how they can reduce so many failures. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. These are magnetic USB cables. There are two different ones. You got your data USB cables, which are elongated like this one here. You can see one of the data on my little tablet. And you can tell I've got a lot of different USB connections right here. This is a charging station that I got off Amazon. And you can see I've got one or two of these magnetic USB kits installed and this is where my kids will attach and detach their own stuff so they're not plugging and unplugging from the ports damaging their devices now you can see all i gotta do is just yank it comes detached actually you can just kind of even lay it on the desk and it will go right back see that and you can see i've got it on my wireless headphones i got some vr kits i've got extra attachments but every single one of these has them. Now, why would I use these? Well, as I said, you don't want the user, or in this case, my kids, plugging and unplugging from the device because that's where things get messed up. Now, as long as you get the correct cables for the correct device, you're good. You see that these ones here are only two pole, which the magnet and the center ring right there, those are just positive and negative for charging. The data has four tiny, tiny little pins. Here, let's see if I can show you up close. See those ones right there? These are data magnetic USB cables. There is a difference. And the phone that I'm recording this in is a Note 10, and I transfer all these videos over to my PC using these magnetic uh, USB 2.0 connections. Now I also have this in my car so my phone can act as a GPS with my vehicle. It's super nice because let's say you get a yank hazard like this. You yank it. Oh look at that. It just attached itself right back. If you yank it, it doesn't yank the device off the countertop and, and break it on the floor. You see that? Look at that. So the kids, it's really easy for them to detach and reattach it. The important thing is when you have a charge base, make sure it can handle the amount of amps because a lot of these things require, you know, some hefty amps to charge. So this one here, maybe I'll leave a link in the description down below. This guy is an awesome little charging bank. It's got 10 USB ports and it handles plenty of power. But why? Why would I use this in a medical field? Well, let me tell you. For a fact, there are USB devices that will plug and unplug from computers, like uh, little pens and stuff that you have to transmit data or maybe to charge. And you don't want the user plugging and unplugging from devices. You're going to break something. And you can tell right here, all my, all my devices have these things installed so that I'm not plugging and unplugging from the port. That is how a majority of these portable personal devices get broken. And that is also how a vast majority of medical electronics get broken is because the USB port that people are unplugging and plugging, it gets weak. It's not meant for that harsh, harsh environment of, you know, medical use. So if you have a medical device and you need to charge it, I suggest using the charging ones. You can see I've got a whole ball of them right here. I've, every single different type of USB connection you can think of. I've got a whole ball of them. The round ones are two pole, like this one right here. This is for charging. So if you have some medical devices that just simply charge, use a charging magnetic USB cable. And another good thing to note about these, notice how the cable is this uh, braided. Now maybe you don't want braided because you're gonna be in a patient environment, but that braided cable 
is very, very durable. So maybe not in a patient environment, but if it's at somebody's PC or if it's at a uh, planning PC, like a laptop or something, I highly suggest the braided cables because they don't intertangle with other cables very easily and they're extremely durable, especially from like yank hazards. But I am going to try and implement these magnetic USB cables on devices that are either going to charge or that are going to transmit data from one device to the next because repairing main boards, which any USB is going to be a main board, is very expensive. It's extremely expensive. And often it's device replacement. If it's a small device that has a USB for charging or whatever, that is going to be just complete device replacement. You don't need that. Get the magnetic USB ports, pop them in your device, and set up a charging station like this right here, and you're good to go. That's my little tidbit for you guys today. Magnetic USB cables, data or charging, I got all my stuff on Amazon. It's cheap. They're only like 20, 30 bucks. Okay. Thanks for watching guys.